There must be times when you do need to turn to someone and speak to someone about personal problems or yeah, no, I have a lots very of important, a, a very important decision perhaps in your life. True, I, is, I have, I have that one person you would turn to. I have a lot of mirrors. <laughs> I don't. I actually, it's just uh, I don't know. I'm very sort of. Um, um, I'm the skin of a rhinoceros, you know. I just, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't have that many people to turn to. And the only one who will be talking about it is Mary, who's, um, you know, you know, long. Uh, you know, she, she's been a girlfriend of mine for a, a long time. And uh, even though we're not together right now, I just, uh, she, I, I sort of refer to her a lot. And uh, she's about the only friend uh, I would say I can, I can refer to. And she sort of. Um, because I, I, mean, I, I don't like, I mean, I have a lot of friends, uh, or so-called friends, you know, str um, in, um, what are they called? Mm. Inverted like commas. In, in, or friends. In, in, in inverted commas. Right. But, I mean, they, I just don't, um, you know, they, they, they could sort of come and go. But, I mean, like, um, a real true friend for me has to be, um, you know, has to be very strong and you know, put up with me. And I think um, Mary's gone through just about everything and so, so I can actually you know she she, she has the depth and, 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 the, and, and the quality to actually sort of um, um, adapt to me and, 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 and uh, talk to me about very serious things and uh, I, I, she's about the only person I can think about otherwise I just uh, I, I offend for myself and I, I come I just uh, you know across my hurdles in my own way but I know you're, you've been a very generous friend to a number of people. I know, I buy a lot of shitty things for a lot of people. And just, um, so most, most of the times I get them back a few years later. <coughs> so have you become somewhat disillusioned with uh, mankind? Well, that's very heavy, isn't it, or David? Mankind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not really, not really. No, it's just... Uh, it's just... Um, She's made me speechless. You know? <laughs> well, R Rudolf Nureyev said that he he didn't like having. Well, he has a pink house. He's lucky. <laughs> he said that he um, he worked hard because it was the only th thing that didn't let him down. He found people did. Is that your attitude? Well, that's a, did he actually say that oh, yes. in Russian? No, to me. <laughs> <laughs> in English. In English. I don't speak Russian. I said that, that. That's very good. Uh, is that that's true. Attitude? That's true to a sense. That's true to a sense. Sometimes you th you hide behind your work in the end. You know that that's the only thing you got. And in fact, that that is very true. In the end, when people let you down, what what happens is you you basically you just want to go on stage. And then there are all these people who who are you know it's very gratifying. To them. They all sort of want you or they they, they adulate. But they you you're still untouchable. But that to me is about as far as I can go. When I come back to that's my my, my um, that's a, uh, that's my fantasy, you know, and then I come back to reality, and I don't have anybody to actually sort of um, give me that. And uh, yes, I mean, that's right. I mean, I, I can uh, when I have nothing else to do, I I hide behind that. That's what keeps me going. So are yes. you are you somewhat suspicious? Oh yeah, I told you, I'm very skeptical, very, very, very suspicious of. Uh, oh yes. The higher, the higher I climb up that ladder, the the, the, the fewer, the, the more, uh, the, the bigger the barrier becomes around me, and uh, I don't know, I don't know why, but I mean, uh, I'm quite willing to open up to to a lot of people because I mean that's what people want, that uh, that's what uh, an individual like me wants. But I mean, I find the the more I open up, the, the more I get hurt. So I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh, basically what happens is you know, I'm, I'm just riddled with scars, and uh, <laughs> I just don't want any more. I don't want any more. So I mean, you just you do shut yourself off. It, it, it is an awful thing. It's an awful thing, but... Um, so this is why it's difficult to get to know you, because you do make it difficult for people to get through to you, don't you? Yes, I don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry to come, you know, to... to, to um, not as anybody. I'm not, I'm not saying... In terms of that, I mean, you, you, know, you talk... It, it doesn't mean it's just me. I think everybody has that kind of thing. You know, it doesn't matter what you are, a bricklayer or, a, you know, somebody who's, you know... In a, in a sweet shop or a, or, or a butcher, I mean, it's just, they all have that kind of thing, you know. It, it doesn't Do you mean think all. so? Yes, well, I mean, it doesn't mean that all these people like everybody. They all have their pros and cons. I mean, they, they hate people and they all have, um, okay, because I'm successful and I have a lot of money, you have a lot of, you know, 
greedy people that, 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 that want, uh, but that, that's something that I've learned and it's, it's part of something that I've taken on and, and I have to learn to deal with it. Being a world famous rock star, does this make it more difficult for you to actually keep a friendship going? Yes, yes, because I think I I it's harder for other people to try and understand me as a normal person, because basically in terms of, because uh, you're talking about relationships, which is, which is good. So basically, when, when it comes to a relationship, it doesn't matter who you are, if you're the Queen of England or, you know, or Mary Potts from Bognor, it, it doesn't, it, when it comes to love and a relationship, you're, you're, you're equal. But when, when it, uh, and then when it comes down to, um, in terms of success and, 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 and uh, when you're a celebrity or whatever, it, it's hard to approach somebody and say, look, you are normal underneath it. You have to sort of, and so I think you are handicapped, basically. Well, so basically you have to sort of comp overcompensate uh, in, in that way. And, and basically what, what, hap what happens then is that you're, you're trying so hard to tell other people that, look, you're normal underneath in terms of love, whatever. It just so happens that I'm successful and I have a lot of money. And, then, uh, and when that happens, uh, you, you find yourself in a very, very sort of um, uh, difficult and, and vulnerable position because then, then what happens is they tread all over. Suddenly, you, you, uh, you've come out of your shell and, and, and you become far more vulnerable than, than, than most people. So how do you hold on to real friends? I don't. I discard them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any real friends. I don't think I do. People tell me that they're my friends. Don't you believe them? No.